Number five on our countdown list is going to be about geoprocessing and model builder. Let's go to a different part of the park, the area around Half Dome, and we'll go ahead and turn on our aerial imagery. Within Yosemite National Park, the Park Service uses GIS to manage the park, but they also use it for search and rescue. If the last known location of a lost hiker was this red bullseye, they can use geoprocessing models to predict where that person may have gone, how quickly they can travel, and the most likely location to find them. If we want to access that model, we can use our catalog window. There's a new home button that will take you to the project or the map workspace where your maps, your tools, your analysis results may all be stored. We can then open up that model and you'll see there's a couple new improvements with Model Builder. First, there's a new pop-up for the tooltips that shows you the input, output, and parameters for each tool without having to open up that tool. For those of you that have mistakenly hit this auto layout button before you were ready and said, oops, that wasn't quite the layout I want, you'll be very happy to know that there is now an undo and redo button that will get you back to what you want. And of course, that will work if you accidentally delete a tool and you want to bring that back. Now, many of you have been asking, is it possible to take the geoprocessing tools and the models and put them onto the toolbars to customize the toolbars. With ArcGIS 9.4, we've enhanced the customization capability so you have access to all of the analysis tools. I can drag and drop the buffer tool or the geoprocessing model that I was just working on for search and rescue onto either my own toolbars or the default toolbars. Now, if you go ahead and want to ex execute this, the challenge I'm going to be faced is, if I start this model executing, we're going to have to wait until it finishes before we can continue the presentation. However, that was the past. With ArcGIS 9.4, there's a new geoprocessing option that allows you to enable background processing. So now, when I start the model running, you'll see a status bar in the lower right-hand corner that will show me the status of my job. You'll see a pop-up occur when it's complete, but I can continue to work. I can continue and do other things.